it. Yeah, it's Saturday. We just did our pre-trip and ready to roll. I think we're gonna go down across 70. I looked at Wyoming's gonna be a little windy. Um, it's not shut down to light traffic, but I don't know. I think I'd rather deal with Colorado today. So I think that's what we're gonna do. And it's roughly the same miles. It's quicker across Wyoming, but eh, I don't wanna deal with wind. And yeah, so I think we're just gonna do that. We're gonna go across 70. So I can get out of here and get rolling. some of my favorite parts on these drives. The Moab area, just Utah here in the desert. Love it. Man, it's cold out here. Overcast. We're at the rest area, just uh, east of Green River, Utah. So we've been driving for about three and a half hours. Um, we're gonna take a 30 minute break because we got plenty of time to get to where we're going and I'm not sure if they're gonna have a load ready for us tonight or if it's gonna be like tomorrow. So no rush. <laughs> Plus I would have to stop and take a 30 minute break later somewhere. So might as well knock one out over here and get my eight hours back. My continuous eight hours driving because I'm still going to have some, um, I would technically have to get another 30 hour break to get my full 11 hours, but we're about, I don't know, five hours away. So we have four and a half hours left on the clock to drive. So might as well knock one out. And like I said, we're in no hurry. So we'll hang out here, stretch our legs. And as you've seen, you can't beat the scenery. It is just that nice looking out here. I love it out here. It's like my favorite, my favorite drive. Just I-70 through Utah and 6. And then like Western Colorado. I just love it. Maybe I'll make myself a luncheon. After all, I am pretty fat. I need to eat. 
That good old Oak Mountain strikes again. Good thing I didn't go that way, or it would have been another week of sniffing glue. Um, I think it's supposed to quit by 2 o'clock from what they said, but, man, I would have probably been closing in on there, so I would have had to probably wait. And, again, we're fairly light, so no chance in risking it. Plus, this is such a prettier drive. And we got the time, so might as well enjoy it. We made it. Can you guys guess where we made it to? Huh? Huh? Can you guys guess? Oh man, what a day. All that traffic coming down 70 tonight. It's quite a bit. Let's go check in and see what's up. Maybe we can get a load out of here yet tonight. I still got a couple hours I can drive. Sorry, I hate you guys. Uh, the tires are a little funny. But. We're parked for the night. Won't have a load till probably morning. Hopefully. My favorite door. Got me some eggs for breakfast. Got a couple of these guys. I guess I can make cold cuts out of them. I forgot I got some jam though. I got some peanut butter. Not exactly carb friendly, but low carb friendly. Oh, five grams. Is this sugar free? Damn. I could have been eating peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. That's what's for lunch. 
No, that's what's for dinner. What the hell am I talking about? kind of a weird one to operate you got to press microwave you got to press start then you got to do your minutes because this is the three in one deal microwave convection and air fryer man i can't ever figure out that lighting thing we're in a truck by the way if you guys can't tell we're about to eat our dinner So we're at SIVA till morning. Hopefully they get us a load out in the morning. Um, it's kind of a my fault thing because if I'm called the main guy here, he probably could have got me something out, but I didn't want to bother since I'm running solo and um, I don't we didn't really have any hours to go far other than maybe like Vail if I was taking 70 or, or possibly maybe wyoming if i was going across wyoming which i don't think i'll be doing that so that being said i didn't really want to bother them but i probably should have anyway they'll probably have a load for me in the morning it's all right i'll just sleep here and then they get in at six in the morning being that it's six o'clock my time right now at seven o'clock their time i'll be able to roll back out at what six in the morning right no four in the morning yeah 1600 four in the morning so 5 a.m their time so i'll probably sleep in a little bit i'll get up around 5 30 their time go in and check in and see what's shaking so for now i'm gonna eat my dinner talk to the wife hopefully they're doing okay because they've been getting a bunch of rain at home and just chill that's kind of how it is running solo you just get to hang out and wait kind of sucks but kind of nice because you get to rest and sleep and i didn't really get too much the greatest sleep last night because on my first night in the truck i usually never do even when i'm running solo even when i was running fancy and i ran the flatbed it was kind of hard for me to sleep on the first night so i'm a little bit tired hopefully tonight i can catch some better z's and i think it'll be a little bit warmer here overnight so we don't have to worry about idling the truck so anyway i'm gonna eat my dinner and i'll catch you guys later pick it up pick it up pick it up pick it up you see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Fit it up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Fit it up. Hop in my car and a giddy up.